so um this video uh, is going to be about uh, monogamy and polygamy i've been wanting to do this video for a long time so today it's going to happen of course i don't support uh, i don't support marriage i because i've never ever get married anyway in this physical world and um, but then I know uh, because I don't want to marry but I'm not interested in marriage doesn't mean everybody must do what I'm doing because you have your own choice probably is, marriage is on your path and you really really want it you desire it so there's nothing wrong with it if that's what you want even with all the implications you know, depends on your part of this existence. So, if that's what you want, just go ahead. However, if I were to support any form of marriage, <coughs> it will be polygamy and not monogamy. Because one of them gives you freedom, while the other takes away that freedom you have. When I was growing up, um, even up to this moment, you always hear, hear this adage that ah, uh, marrying more than one wife is trouble. If I'm not trouble, it's graveyard. That one wife is trouble on his own. But when you not marry more than one, it's like you, you sign your, your own death warrant. You know? So because of that, men, we are scared away with that belief. I don't know who made those uh, adages or who brought that thing up. So because of that, they use it to scare men away from their freedom to stay stuck in one man, in one, with one woman. But I've always known that even all the well, majority of the African societies or tribes, they've always been practicing polygamy before Christianity was introduced in those societies. At least I know I'm an Igbo and I know what <laughs> marriage system uh, the early Igbo men were practicing <coughs> before the coming of Christianity or the missionaries. Uh, there's this guy He's a customer, he drives a Pojo car, so uh, once in a while I uh, diagnose his car and all that, so we are a little bit close. We're not close anyway, but you know, um, I see him often and not. He's a Muslim, I, he's married to more than one wife. You know, so there's a pattern I've noticed from him, you know, um, if one of his wife probably nagged at him or bitched at him or something like that. We just walk away. We'll go to the second wife. They, the two wives, they don't live together. They live in separate houses. We just go over to the other one and stay there until the other one realizes uh, what she has done and probably start begging him to come back. Of course, women, that's what they crave for attention. Once she realized that she has given, he is giving the other one attention, the other wife attention, she will do everything. She will probably apologize or whatever, so that the attention comes back to her. So, <coughs> this man is always a happy man, as in, I'm not saying he's one of the happiest person I've known, but I know, you know, he's always, he seems happy all the time. He's more peaceful than most men I know because of what freedom he's not stuck with one woman <coughs> unlike monogamy where even if she's killing you even if she's nagging you to death you have no choice you just have to stay there so we even tell you okay if if that is happening you have to do everything so that she doesn't nag at you <coughs> nag at you or bitch at you or control or manipulate you so you have to do everything for her not to do that and what does that mean you have to keep pleasing her all the time. And to please somebody all the time means you have to all give up, give up your own well-being as well. 
because there's no way you will please uh, somebody and do everything she likes without affecting your own desires and wants at, at the same time because that person's want and desire may be contrary to yours so it's still a bondage so i never even when i was growing up i never understood that idea of monogamy because men you can lie to yourself all men are polygamous in nature you can do whatever you want to do lie and claim no you are different from other men this is who we are it's biology i know people say more by polygamy i means you don't find only one woman attractive, no matter what you do. Even if you swan on earth, are you going to stay with only one woman? Tomorrow you go out, you see another one, and wish, ah, you have this woman in your life as well. Some people wish, ah, I wish I could sleep with her. You find you never, you will never be satisfied with one woman. Women only do that because of religion, because of shaming. They don't want people to shame them for sleeping around. They don't want to, the society to look down on them for not being able to stay in one marriage or with one woman. That's why people do it. Or because of their religion for it, that you are not supposed to. Or probably because of their financial strength. They don't have enough money to sleep with other, more than one woman. So don't tell me that. I know I'm a man. I know how I feel. So, but somehow, somebody came up I think Christianity started it. Yeah, the same Christianity, I don't really understand. I've never seen where it was written in the Bible. I've studied Bible, I didn't see where it was written in the Bible that marry one that one wife is bad. Yet the Catholic will discommunicate, with you, discommunicate you for deciding to marry more than one wife. If a Catholic can decide to marry another woman, apart from your first wife, Will no longer be accepted in that Christ, in that church. In fact, they will excommunicate you, not discommunicate. They will excommunicate you, and you're no longer a Catholic because of what? Doing something that was not even written in the Bible as a as a, a sin or bad. I mean, sometimes I, when people do all these things, I just wonder: Do they even ask themselves these questions? Who is even making this law? Is it the same God? You people are worshipping the same Jesus they are worshipping who didn't even marry. And even his followers didn't even marry. Now you are forcing other men to, to, to live by what he didn't preach. You know, one thing about me is if you want to be a Christian, there's nothing wrong with it, but be a Christian with your mind, not with just what was written in the Bible or what your pastor or your priest is telling you. Because there's so much about life that Bible didn't cover. And there's so much about life that Bible twisted and deceived people with because they didn't want you to know some of these things. So yeah, polygamy is freedom for a man. No matter how you can have your own reasons or disagree, I'm not asking you to agree with me. If you want your freedom, and you really, really want to marry. As in marriage is really what you want. You can't do without it. You just want to marry. Then I will ask you to go polygamous. If you are a Christian and your church for it, then leave it. What's the point? What's the point? Being unhappy because you want to do what exactly? After all, do you really? If you really, I believe, probably yes. As a Christian, I means you believe in God or Jesus. That's it. I believe that Jesus is a God, and there's another God, or whatever. So do you really need to be in a church to have a to have a level for you to even serve that your God? You know, that's the funny thing. Christians will tell you um, you're not supposed to judge, yet everything they do is about that same thing. What they preach against is what they are practicing. They are judging every other religion, telling them, oh, no, this religion will go to hellfire. We are the only one that will go to heaven. I mean, it's, it's, it's I, like I always say, I don't know what took me so long to walk away from that nonsense. So anyway, that's how I see it. It doesn't mean I support Islamic religion. No, I'm not interested in that religion. But I'll give them kudos on that for maintaining that polygamous life. 
at least even if they most of them now marry only one wife but at least they know that they are not restricted they are not limited they can always do what i mean by polygamy doesn't mean that oh a woman can see i don't even care about whether you are stuck with one person being a woman or not if you, even if a woman i want to marry more than one husband i don't care it means nothing to me it's unless your own society, you, you know, you want to live a conform life. You come for to, to be a, a conform, a conform human being, and live according to other men's opinion, beliefs, and all that. Why will you be stuck with only one person? If you really know who you are and why you are, why you live in this physical body, it won't take any nonsense from anybody. Anyway, that my, that's my opinion and perspective on polygamy and monogamy. For those who really desire marriage, like I said, you don't need to. You don't need to live like me. You don't need to walk away from marriage because I'm not. Uh, you can not qualify for. Did you know? You have to make your own choice as a man. So if your choice is really, really, really marriage, that's something you really desire, not just and be uh, just just because. Uh, you know, some men are walking away from me, but you want it, fine. Just and you, better, and you still want your freedom as a man. Monogamy will not grant you that freedom. Just know that. All right, talk to you guys soon.